Hello everybody, I'm back, and today I'm just going to have a little discussion about this. This is the uh, more massive Droner 3 inch, and um, i got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed in this for the frame aspect of it, the frame itself. Um, otherwise, this thing flies amazing. It is absolutely incredible. I love it. I love the way it flies. So, let's get into the problems here. Well, this frame's broke, and I'll show you that here in just a minute. But I want to go over um, what all this has been through. I've got 24 flights. And my first dozen flights, I was trying to get used to the, everything, getting used to its characteristics. The camera tilt was lower, of course, and um, not going fast, trying to get used to the feel of it and everything. And uh, had a couple of bumpy landings because, you know, in the, you know like, just like in your rearview mirror on your car, Objects are closer than they appear. Little warning on there. Well, the ground is a little further away than it appears in this camera, so I'd be like a foot off the ground going to land and, you know, start cutting the throttle a little quicker to land and, you know, land it down and, it, you know, bounce and flip over or something. So those kind of things. And then on my second, I think it was my second or third flight, I was uh, coming in for landing and um, there's a pole over here, like a little sign pole. There's no sign on it, so it was hard to see. And the wind was coming this way, and it was pretty windy that day. I was about to give up or and just wait for the wind to calm down or just call it a day. But uh, I'm coming in for a landing, pretty level, pretty slow. And I got to that pole and smacked it right here. Uh, not really hard, but uh, this is all it did to it right there, that little mark underneath on the bottom. You could barely feel it with your fingernail. You could barely tell there's something there. You could see it more than you could feel it. But... Uh, that's all it did to that, and it tweaked the prop on this side, on this uh, left front, just just enough to, I mean, you could have straightened it by pinching it and still used it, but I went ahead and changed it anyway. Um, the other crashes I had was uh, some cartwheel crashes, and they were all within my first dozen flights, and you know, you're coming around a turn, and you're trying to get used to everything, and camera and all that, you get a little close to the ground, and the prop catches, and you know, does a cartwheel kind of thing. Well, those were minor crashes. They were minor cartwheels. They weren't major cartwheels. It's not like they were traveling 50 feet at high speed, you know, tumbling through the ground. It was just a few feet, tumbled over a few times, and then stopped. Um, now, after my dozen, uh, first dozen flights, I turned the up tilt on the camera up, getting a little more aggressive with it. Hadn't had any crashes since that, you know, the first dozen flights. And uh, it was flying amazing. I, I really liked it. Um, I did have to change, uh, these two props and this one another time because of the crashes I had, the tump, the cartwheels, they tweaked them enough that I just decided to change them. Now this prop here, this is the same one that's been on this right rear ever since the first flight. I have not had to change that prop at all. Um, so this is why I don't understand this. This frame is broken on the right rear arm. Um, on my 23rd flight, I, I... Went around a turn, and it gave me a wobble. And I'm like, well, it hasn't been doing that prior to this at all. All the 22 flights before, it did not wobble at all. So I'm thinking something's going on, maybe something's loose. So I came in and brought it in, checked everything. Everything's tight. So I put another pack in it, got it in the air, and I'm flying it during that flight. And every one of the same kind of turns, it gave me a wobble. So I'm like, okay, what's going on here? Something's going on with it. I brought it in checked everything again and then I started checking frame rigidity and everything's tight right front left front left rear right rear it's broke so here's what's broke is across the top here all the way across the top and if you look at it this way you can see if I bend this down a little bit you see all the layers, the only thing holding it together is that bottom layer there, and everything else is separated across there. And it's separated quite a bit. It's separated from like here to here. So all the way across there it's separated, and it's busted through all the layers except for that bottom little bit, probably about 75-80% through. If you look at it on this side, I'll probably have to get a light on this so you can see this a little better. Okay. If you look at it this way, I bend it down, you can see that is cracked 
glaring back at us here. It is cracked. Probably a good half, a uh, quarter, a little more than a quarter inch, half inch. But it's cracked all the way through all those layers, except for the bottom layer. And it's uh, kind of an angled crack, two different angles there. So that's what I ended. That's what it's ended up happening to this. And I have no idea how that could have happened in the minor crashes that I've had, because I have toy grade stuff with cheap plastic frames, even the ones I have with you know these mo the cordless mo uh, brushless motors that have been through a lot worse than this thing has seen. A lot worse. A couple of tumbles with this on the you know cartwheel tumbles, and it's broke compared to like one of my XKs, which is much bigger, much heavier, and I was trying to learn 3D with it, and I have slammed those things into the ground. Um, yeah, I've cracked the frames, the uh, bodies a little bit, but nothing that was so bad that I couldn't just take some plastic weld and, you know, run it in there and put it back together, except for the one that had a mind of its own and decided to commit suicide and come at everybody one day, and it broke the arm off. But uh, that was a really bad crash. But this, this here, I mean, there's no excuse for that. I mean, that there is no way that I could have crashed it bad enough to cause that. Now, I've checked this motor. I've checked this arm. Now, I have had to dig mud out of this arm, of this front motor, this front arm right here on the end and a little bit up in the motor. And I had to dig a little bit out of this one on the front. And I had to dig a little bit off the end of this this one here, this right rear, uh, left rear. The left rear and the both front motors, I, I had to dig some mud off of it. But, uh, of course, I cleaned them out really good and then went ahead and flowed again. That was all in the first 12 flights. Now, this one here, the only mud on it here is just that splattered stuff. And we have that clay-like uh, dirt out here. And dry or not, it's going to stick to everything regardless if it splatters on you. So that's where this is all coming from. Um, now, I've checked this motor. I've checked everything for damage. There's nothing, no marks on this whatsoever. There is no bending, no marks on the top, no marks on the sides, no marks anywhere, no marks on this arm, anywhere at all. This prop is still perfect. Same prop that came off of there. It's been on there since the first flight. Even the prop nuts, there's no damage except for, you can't really call it damage, it's just being scraped from when I'm tightening them down. That coating on these aluminum nuts just comes right off when you're tightening them down with a regular wrench uh, or regular uh, nut driver. So that's the only thing going on with these. No other damage to anything. No marks, no nothing. Um, the only mark on this thing is right here. That's it. I mean, there's nothing else. I mean, there's no other marks. There's still some mud right here. But, uh, I mean, that's, that's it. There's nothing else wrong with this except for that arm. I can't understand how that broke. I mean, if my toy grade stuff can outdo this frame, this is not a very good frame. Um... Now, I did go and I purchased another frame, and honestly, I can't afford to keep doing this uh, every dozen or two flights because I'm disabled and I do not have an income. I mean, you know how the system jacks disabled people, so I got jacked. I get nothing. Um, so this right here is a new frame. It's a new More Massive Droner 3-inch. I'm going to replace the frame. And I'm going to see how this frame does. If this one breaks as easily as this one did, then I'm done with this frame. I will be getting another frame. Now, I'm not meaning to badmouth any companies or anybody like that. I mean, I know Catalyst Machine Works is excellent. Uh, I'm happy with this quad other than the frame. I, I'm very happy with their customer service from the get-go. Um, they actually helped me more than anybody else has in the last year and a half to get, get another quad. So... I don't see any problem with them. What I see is a problem with this frame. This could be a design flaw. This could be a defect. This could be something that just a freak accident just happened out of one of the crash, the minor crashes I had. Um, it could have been anything. But everybody said this thing was super durable and could take a beating. I don't see it. So I'm going to send pictures to Catalyst Machine Works. I'm going to send uh, probably a link to this video as well. Let them see what's going on with it. And... Uh, Hopefully they can improve on this or find out what was going on with it and uh, see if maybe it's, uh, it could be a number of things. It could be anything from quality control, right, or design flaw, right up to a freak accident with these crashes that I had, the tumbles that I had. But I doubt it because the prop, one, the prop on this side never got touched hardly at all, ever. I mean, it's still the same prop. 
um, from flight one. So I don't know. We'll see what happens with this. Um, hopefully Catalyst Machine Works can come up with an improvement here or something, but there it is. Uh, that's my personal opinion. I'm not bad-mouthing anybody. It's just uh, that's part of the industry here. I mean, it's trial and error, and uh, companies that will listen to their customers are the ones I like to keep going back to. So hopefully Catalyst Machine Works will come up with a uh, solution to this problem with this frame. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, sorry I rambled on for so much there, but um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button and like or dislike the video. I don't care. Leave a comment. Just don't get nasty. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, we will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.